Hi, this is Mac Lacey. I'm at the Small Market Meetings Conference in South Bend, Indiana, and I am speaking with Taylor Malden, who is with Visit Norman, and uh, that's Sooner Country. That's exactly right, yes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, congratulations on a great season thus far. Thank you. So far, so good with so our far, new coach so and everything. Yeah, yeah absolutely. for sure. So tell me a little bit about Norman for meeting planners. Sure. Well, um, Norman is located just south of Oklahoma City, about 15 miles. Um, and we're also home to the University of Oklahoma, like you said, the right. Sooners. So right. um, the uh, college provides fantastic resources for planners, for large groups, uh, not only for meeting space itself, but for off-site functions and other tours, just excursions in general, and certainly other resources like speakers and, and FMV and, and all of those things that would need to make a meeting successful, you can find right there on campus. Um, but in addition to that, we also have um, two main conference uh, hotels, okay. kind of a one-stop shop. So we don't have a standalone expo center, but we do have two big, big conference hotels. One of the is uh, uh, John Q. Hammond's Embassy Suites. Okay. Um, it actually has the largest ballroom in the state of Oklahoma at um, 28,000 square feet. There. Yes. So we're super proud of that. Um, about 300 sleeping rooms there. Um, and it's in an incredible, uh, incredibly walkable area. Right. Uh, there's a, a park right there. There, lots of shops, restaurants, bars, so it's, right. a, it's a really um, amazing facility and we're happy to have it here in Norman. Then on the other side of town we actually have a Marriott Managed Conference Center. There's almost a thousand sleeping rooms at that location yeah. um, and it's sort of resort-like in that they have um, tennis courts, baseball fields, lots of team building activities at that property which we really like to, to boast on their behalf because it's kind of unique that you'd have someone on site that can work specifically with your groups to, to customize programs and provide other resources that some hotels just aren't capable of. So we're really proud of both of those properties and we certainly have uh, other great hotels and, and tons of amazing attractions to check out too. Well, yeah, and we'll end with this. Uh, sure. Let's talk about some cool off-site venues, maybe for a meal or for entertainment. Where, where are you recommending people go outside of the hotel? Sure, of course. Um, well, we have a second Friday art walk, so if the event is being held over that second weekend, during the month and we have this art walk downtown where all of the galleries, restaurants, shops stay open late. There's typically free wine and uh, it's just a lot of fun, kind of like a monthly festival. Okay. Um, aside from that, we have two fantastic museums. Uh, one of them is the Fred Jones Art Museum. It has the largest collection of Impressionist art in the entire country at any public university. Really? So kind of a, a hidden gem there. Yeah. Um, but we really do pride ourselves on being an artsy and eclectic town. Um, so really a lot of those offerings are well, I know universities typically really deliver, as you say, an artsy, eclectic mm -hmm. uh, atmosphere, so that's great. Well, uh, Taylor, thanks very much for being with us, sure, thank and you. Uh, thanks for being at the conference. Thank you so much. Okay. Appreciate it.